Welcome back to the channel, guys. That's the sticker we always want, made in the USA. These are my lift points from Z01 add-ons. Uh, if you've got a six gen Camaro, we got a lift by the pinch welds and these things clamp right onto the pinch weld and will keep you from bending those up. Just some uh, set screws. I Loctited mine with blue Loctite and put them on. I didn't film that part because I literally had to lay on my back on the floor and reach under to do it. And then I like to use some hockey pucks under my lift just to keep any metal on metal contact from happening. Today we're looking at the ACS Composites rock guards and the installation. I got these in the one LE black to match the other black plastic bits on the car from factory. They come with the fasteners, the front rock guards require you to do a little bit of drilling and some riveting. The rears are super simple, I'll show you exactly how I did that. The fronts use some 3M double sided body tape, that's that red strip of paper there. So once you get your lift points on, we're going to get the car up in the air. And for ease, I removed my wheels just so I have plenty of room to work and try to film and show you guys what I did. If you like the content, don't be afraid to subscribe. Get your notifications, drop me a comment. The car is so beautiful. Everything's so nice and clean. There's only about 200 miles on the car at this point. And you can see the brake dust that already accumulated on those calipers just after 200 miles. I think I will graphene coat them so that they'll clean up easier in the future. Here you can see that lift point installed and a hockey puck. Those hockey pucks really come in handy. They're only 12 bucks for a dozen of them. I keep a dozen in the shop. So we're gonna remove these screws in the rear. It's just the three screws going into the inner fender liners. And here's the rear rock guard. We're just gonna fit that in place. They are molded with the body line. They fit very nicely. And then just replace your screws and snug them down. The rear's done. That's how easy that is. The fronts take a little more work. Use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and clean up the edge of that fender because that's where we're going to stick our 3M tape. Peel off the backer and then stick them into place right on the edge of that fender. And there it is stuck on the passenger side. You take a look at these three holes. We'll use those as uh, a drill guide. Nice sharp drill bit. You're gonna pop right through that inner fender liner and that's where we'll put our rivets. Make sure you get your elbow in the way of the camera while you're doing all this. Just make sure your rivets go clear through your inner fender liner so that when you squeeze them down, you've captured both layers of the rock guards and that inner fender liner. Just three rivets per side. And they fit beautifully. 
match up to body lines perfectly. And you can see how they look here. Here's the front passenger side. They look factory to me. And the rear driver's side. Hopefully these will keep any road debris from kicking up on the brand new paint with the wider tires on the 1LE. That is something you'll encounter for sure. Driver's side front. And then we put the wheels back on and set the car down. And I love how they look. Looks factory to me. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.